this is gold book part seven the last part and we start with lesson 51 the barbell sound of ooh, 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 ooh. it's a little different than the ghost sound which goes ooh this goes ooh, ooh, like in go good and also the short u uh, uh, like in pull, full, bull, and here's some words with that uh sound good, wood, hood, stood, book, brook, crook, crooked, took, look, hook, shook, pull, push, bull, bush, wood. These are special spellings. Words like would, could, and should. Special spellings. O-U-L-D. Then we have cook, cookie, wooden, good, by, some, someone, something, somewhere, in other words. The story is the wolves and the sheep. The wolves liked to eat sheep, but the sheep dogs kept them away. One day, a wolf came to the brook where the sheep drank. The sheep stood back. We are now good wolves said the wolf you can trust us let's all live in peace good said the sheep send away your dogs said the wolf no said the sheep if we send our dogs away you could eat us the wolf shook his head we have changed don't we look like good wolves now we will let you keep our babies all right said the sheep so the silly sheep sent away their dogs they kept the baby wolves instead but soon the baby wolves became hungry they cried for their mothers the big wolves came you have made our babies cry they said you 
have broken the peace. Now we must eat you. The wolves ate the sheep. Then they took their babies and went home. This is the poem Baba Black Sheep. Lesson 52 has more patterns of sounds and spellings with like the K N N like in not the G N like in Nat the little bug we have words that sound the same not and not but the one is spelled with the K N then we have the W R like in wrong right right this is to right and this is like your right hand words that sound alike then we have the mb spelling at the end like in thumb and lamb comb you don't hear the b sound but it's spelled with a b and review words no no nose Nose, nod, knock, not, knob, rap, rap, wrapped, rapper, wreck, ring, wrote, rung, long, wrong, Strong song. Nat, nat, gnaw, gnome. Lamb, limb, lime, climb. In other review words. The story is the gnat, that's that little bug, and the bull. One day, a bull was wading in a stream. A gnat flew over to him and sat on his horn. Am I too heavy for you buzzed the gnat. It is wrong to make you carry someone as heavy as I. Shall I fly away? Fly or stay as you like, said the bull. I really did not know you were there. Some sentences to match. Then the other story is the wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf wrapped himself in the skin of a sheep and got into a sheep pen. He ate a lamb, but at last the shepherd found him. Don't throw me out, said the wolf. I'm one of your sheep. No, said the shepherd. You're only pretending 
to be a sheep. I know you are really a wolf. How do you know? asked the wolf. I look like a sheep. Yes, said the shepherd, but you act like a wolf. He beat the wolf with a stick and drove him away. Lesson 53 has some more special words and uh, patterns, spellings, like in worm, work, word, spelled O-R here, world, then the K-N for knee, no, and new. We have the words in the story and practice words. Word, world, worth, worry, work, worked, worker, workshop poor bad worse worst dove love glove above none done some come gum thumb Dumb, crumb. Then we have words that sound alike, like in night and night. This is the, like the opposite of day, night. This is the night in shining armor. We have knives, knife, sorry, knives. Knee, kneel, new, new. This is like a new a pencil. This is like new. I knew someone. And we have the story, the silkworm and the spider. A silkworm and a spider were working side by side. The silkworm was spinning silk very slowly. The spider was spinning her web very fast. See how quickly I spin said the spider you must be the slowest worker in the world your words are true said the silkworm but my work is worth more than yours. People love my silk, but they brush your cobwebs away. Matching sentences here. Then we have some poems, word comprehension, then the lesson 54 is the sh sound again, spelled S-H, those two letters, except this time we'll have uh, the spellings T-I and C-I in special words, 
when you see the T I R C I, it'll be also the sh sound, and then we have the zh sound, the s spelling uh, in certain words, and we'll look at those words now. We have the T I, like in nation, station, question, attention, add. Addition, subtract, subtraction. Then we have divide, division, the z sound, and then television, z sound. Then the CI spelling in words like special, patient, patience. And then other words, use, usual, usually, the z sound. And then also the z sound like in pleasure, measure, treasure. Then we have other words, review. And then we have some uh, special poems, special things to learn. Addition means to add. Subtraction, take away. Division means divide it up as fairly as you may. And then we have a little poem called The Whole Duty of Children. A child should always say what's true and speak when he is spoken to and behave mannerly at table at least as far as he is able and then we have other poems like diddle diddle uh, dumpling and Humpty Dumpty and then our last uh, lesson lesson 55 is the f the angry cat sound this time spelled with the diff uh, uh, other spelling PH the two letters making the sound f like in f phone we also have the CH making a k sound like in Christmas so we have some words here that we will use in a few poems Philip Elephant, music, musician, physics, physician, take, ache, make, aching, alphabet, Ralph, graph, photo, photograph, Autograph, telegraph, and words with the k sound, echo, school, school room. We might not read all the poems, but we'll start with the biggest patient. Philip was an elephant. He had a stomach ache. He phoned for a physician who gave him pills to take. There's another poem here. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said what a good boy am I and then there's a few other poems here uh, one of the best poems that I like is there was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile he found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style he bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse 
and they all live together in a little crooked house. And uh, there's a, other poems here. Uh, there's a silly one called Ele Telephony. Uh, so these are some poems that you can finish up the gold book with. And then at the end, we have what is known as wordless. Uh, the students should be able to go through all the wordless starting with lesson 25 to 28 and be able to read, spell, and write all these words. Dictation is the best way to do this. And these lessons uh, sometimes can be done at the end. Like let's say when you finish, finish 36, you can do all these words. When you finish 37 through 40, you can do all these words. And 41 through 44. All these words would have to do with the spellings and the sounds, uh, letters that we did in the stories and in the word lines. 45 to 48 and 49 to 52. And last but not least, 53 to 55 with those special spellings. And when you finish that, you have finished the gold book and you have become a proficient reader in the phonics open court phonics program thank you for reading with teacher wigowski the end